Hey guys, um, so we'll go real quick, we'll go through how to place EKG leads in an adolescent female or woman uh, and how to navigate breast tissue. So uh, normally, of course, they'll be covered up um, and they'll be wearing a bra or something to that effect. Um, the, the principles are the same, so we'll go through the, uh, find the fourth intercostal space for our patient and place, and for V1, we'll place it just to the right of the sternal border in the fourth intercostal space. Um, for V2, we'll place it similarly just to the left of the sternal border in the fourth intercostal space. We'll skip ahead to V4. Um, and so for V4, to be most consistent uh, as best as you can, try to move the breast tissue upwards and place it right in the inframammary crease, um, which should approximate the fifth intercostal space in the midclavicular line. And then V3 will go in between those. Uh, once again, if you need to lift up the breast just to put it in the right uh, midway position, you can do that uh, also along the, in the uh, inframammary crease. Um, and then for V5, uh, as always, we will go stay in the fifth intercostal space in the anterior axillary line and place it there. And V6 will be in the mid axillary line also along the um, fifth intercostal space. V7 will be just past that. And we'll go moving over to the right side, so we'll, we'll, our leads will just mirror, uh, so we'll place V3R, which will mirror V3, and V4R, which will mirror V4, uh, right in the inf inframammary crease in the fourth inter fifth intercostal space in the midclavicular line, and then V3 will be right in between V1 and V4R, V3R. Um, and finally, our limb leads. Uh, so in an otherwise uh, compliant patient who's able to sit still, it's, uh, you can always put the, lead, the limb leads anywhere between the wrist and the shoulder. Um, if they're not able to sit still, you can put the leads uh, just a couple of uh, inch or two below the clavicle um, to keep them more stationary. And similarly with the legs, if they're able to keep their legs straight, you can put the leads uh, below the knee, above the ankle on either side. Otherwise, uh, you can put them in the uh, lower abdomen pelvic area on the left and right side. So just remember to always put the e-medical record number in with the e in the, in the beginning. If, um, if the patient is not able to sit still and it's not an urgent EKG, you can wait two minutes just to minimize uh, artifact on the EKG before you record it. And uh, just remember that anytime you see a flat line like this, an isoelectric line, that means there is limb lead reversal. So double check your lead placement and double check the lead connection at the cable junction box. And that's all. Thank you guys.